answered. Hi, uh, my name is Steve O'Connor. I'm the uh, other half of uh, Midwest Panel Builders. Uh, I, along with my son Adam, um, created this company. Uh, it really kind of goes uh, way back when uh, how all this started, but uh, you know, I got my license back in 98. It's just um, flying was something that I've always had a passion for and loved doing, so I, uh, I did it. And, and life happened. I had my son, and you know, I got away from it for a little bit, and he actually reignited that spark for me. He really started getting into flight simulators, and uh, so uh, together we actually built a, uh, a full-scale 737 cockpit. Um, the wiring that was involved was incredible and, and uh, really a lot of work, but it was a, a lot of great fun too. And uh, so that kind of started us down the path and, and reignited my flame. So I went on, I, I got my CFI, started as a ground instructor, got my CFI, went on to get my uh, CFII, and, um, and then we got into building slings. We ran into the airplane factory um, out in uh, Oshkosh, you know, started talking with them, really started researching the product, loved the product quite a bit. So we, uh, you know, we worked out a deal and we started building airplanes. And I have since moved on from that company uh, because what we really wanted to do were the avionics side of things. So Adam and I, uh, we branched off and we started doing Midwest Panel Builders because we believe that if you really focus on something that you really love, you'll get really good at it. And, and by us focusing on this one thing, uh, we've definitely been able to bring a lot of innovation and uh, different things to this business that I think is going to uh, really do well for not only us, but for our customers as well. So uh, one of the latest innovations, I and mean, we've had a, a, a few different ones that I'll talk about, but one of the latest ones is our IntelliKey system. Um, you know, Cirrus does have a system that you can lock and unlock the doors with that is a smart key technology, if you will, but they don't have it for the actual start of the airplane. Uh, we have a lot of people that do want push button start, and, and unfortunately, without something like this system, anybody can get in and start the plane. You know, I realize that, you know, just the average person can't fly necessarily, but still, we, we like to have that security. Um, so what we did is we came up with the IntelliKey system. Uh, it's been in development for a year now so that we could put it through all the proper testing because, um, as uh, mentioned before, you know, safety is paramount. And we try to think of every scenario that could possibly be and how the system is going to react. So it's really kind of a simple system for the sake of safety, but yet it's pretty complex at the same time so uh, this system is unique in the fact that without the key in your pocket it will not start your switch is going to show you that it won't start by the color that it's lit up and uh, and you'll know another nice feature is like on cars now when you walk up with a key in your pocket the lights come on on the inside of the vehicle uh, especially for nighttime so that you can see what's going on well this system will also be able to do the same thing uh, in the TSI it will turn on the rear cabin lights um, if you don't want that to happen, you can turn the switch off and it, and it just won't work, but it's timed. So it'll time out and you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, drawing on the battery if that were, if you were to walk away and not actually fly. So um, those are some of the, the nice technologies. Uh, we just recently had a customer that did a custom setup for his uh, fuel pumps. Uh, you can look on our YouTube, you'll see that video as well. But um, you know, he came to us with a, a problem. He said, this is what I'd like to do. And we came up with uh, what I believe is a really nice solution. So again, looking at the system and seeing what possible failures there are and how we can actually enunciate certain things to the pilot uh, became a priority for us. And that's what we spent, you know, a good part of a month developing and making sure that uh, all that would uh, work out so uh, we got a lot of really cool things coming up in the future here and and you know you'll be seeing our smart key system coming up real soon as well as uh, we'll be putting this on mojo's panel as well normally we start the day off with uh, our puppy this is our shop dog uh, piper fittingly enough and uh, so we get her in we get her settled down for the day and uh, you know let all the visitors that come uh, enjoy her so i'll go ahead and set her down but, uh, so um, yeah, so our day starts off, we come in, get things going. Um, as you can see back here, I've got a laser going, and this is, uh, this is actually Mojo's panel that we're uh, etching the uh, lettering into. But I mean, the days vary so much from talking to customers, getting their uh, 
panel orders uh, complete and getting renderings. I do the renderings, I'll do the CAD files. I pretty much design the panels while uh, Adam wires them up and, uh, and I'll build the panels as well. But uh, like I said, we got this laser right here. So this is our setup that we use to uh, etch all of the lettering and stuff into the panel. So it's a little bit of uh, manual work involved in it, but uh, it really makes for a, a nice job when we're done. So. so as far as bizarre things, I mean, we get them from time to time. You know, the, the fact of the matter is, there really is no stupid question to us, okay? Uh, that's how people learn. But uh, if you want me to share some bizarre things, well, one of the things was more recent, actually dealing with this current panel and, uh, you know, of course, there's experts out there all over the place, and, and this gentleman wanted to help out, and, and he was mentioning about solar flares and how we should have a backup six-pack instrument, you know, steam gauges on a panel, which absolutely sounded ludicrous to me. So, uh, you know, just in response to it, we are nice about it and let them know that there's plenty of... of um, you know, airplanes out there flying around that are fully electronic, 787, uh, A350s, you know, these, these airplanes are all electronic. Uh, if they were worried about solar flares taking them down, then, then obviously they wouldn't be doing it. So, you know, it, again, I don't make fun of anybody for their questions or comments because, you know, that's how we all learn. And, hey, maybe I'll learn something from that as well. So this setup that we have here, um, this is our laser system. Uh, so this computer here is basically what I use as a reference so that when we etch all the lettering on, uh, it's correct. All of these uh, panel renderings are approved by the customer ahead of time. So we make sure that we get everything exactly the way it should be based off these renderings. Uh, this is a laser box here. This is our actual power supply that runs this uh, this laser and then we'll have a computer attached to it that runs the CAD uh, program that actually allows us to etch all of the lettering onto the panels themselves. The one thing that we have to do is because this particular system here uh, it's not on rails so it doesn't move around so we have to actually line the panel up so that we can get all the different lettering put onto the panel. Uh, so what we do is we actually line it up with um, the lights itself that are on the laser where they give us boxes and so I'll measure up my distances. The program itself allows me to actually measure up certain distances as well and so when I put my laser dot on the hole I know that I'm four millimeters uh, above that hole but I'll back it up with like some tape and my calipers just to make sure that we're getting that precision there as we line up all of the lettering. So we'll go around the whole panel and, and we'll do that stuff. Some of the more difficult graphics are things like the you know the fan uh, decals and, and stuff like that so we have set measurements that we actually measure those off of so that the knobs and stuff will fit in there uh, to get that lined up and everything there so it's a little bit of a process it definitely takes some time we're probably about two and a half hours uh, between a panel and a uh, throttle quadrant because the throttle quadrants here will also etch to match the panel um, so that everything comes out nice one thing we do too is a lot of the um, companies will do, you have to have an experimental warning on your airplane. So we don't put it on the panel, we put it down here on the throttle quadrant nice and small so that it's not right out and, and everybody's seeing it, but yet it's still in view so it passes for what the FAA would like us to, uh, to do so that works out good. So uh, we'll do the same thing on the throttle quadrant as well. well Midwest Panel Builders right now we're currently focusing on uh, sling aircraft. Uh, technically we can do you know panels, harnesses for really any aircraft but our specialty right now is sling, that's what we're focusing on. The airplane factory in South Africa, as well as the, uh, the airplane factory in Torrance, California, they've just been great to us. Um, you know, we got a great working relationships between the two, and uh, so honestly right now, sling is, is just our love. It's really what we started this whole thing on, so it's, it's what we're continuing to do currently. Uh, the explosion of the TSI, We've just had so much work that right now, honestly, it's, it's all we can do to keep up with this. And it doesn't look like it's slowing down. I mean, with the people we're talking to, uh, the future customers that are coming up, the people that are still in the process of, of thinking about buying a kit, that are talking to us, trying to work things out, you know, I, I just don't see anything but a bright future for us and the airplane factory. Um, so, you know, will we venture off on other things? We may. Uh, it, it all depends. But, you know, right now, you know, our love really is, is Garmin and, and the airplane factory with the Sling aircraft. They are wonderful aircraft. You know, my son Adam and I, you know, started this business out of nothing, really. 
his love for electrical and, and avionics really kind of is what spawned this whole thing. So, you know, people who are coming up and uh, wanting to get into aviation, you know, just realize that there's a lot of things you can do out there like this. Um, you know, as we expand and as we grow this business, we're going to be looking for people to come on and help us. We currently do employ uh, three other people right now that help us uh, get these panels done. So there's there's a plenty of opportunity and, and don't look at just being a pilot necessarily. You know, there's aviation technicians, there's avionics like this. Um, you know, the experimental side of things, which we love, a lot of people don't realize this exists. So, uh, you know, it's definitely a lot of opportunities out there for you. Currently, we're working on a uh, customer portal that will be online. So when a customer um, comes to us for a quote, everything's going to be accessible online because, you know, sometimes things get lost in email or, you know, they get down that chain. So this new portal coming uh, soon is going to be for that. So we'll deliver estimates, we'll deliver renderings. Uh, there's going to be forums on there that can be filled out so that we can communicate back and forth and everything is will then be in writing in that portal for you to see. So, so those are some of the things that we're working on for the customer service side of things. Um, you know, if you'd like to find out more about us or, or what we have to offer, you know, go online, www.midwestpanels.com. You can give us a call, 810-356-3855. Uh, you can email us, info at midwestpanels.com. And uh, we'd love to talk to you and see how we can help you.